I am Benzen Omeji. And today we shall discuss the scarcity of new naira notes and its economic implications. The current scarcity of both the new and old naira notes is having a negative impact on the nation's economy and has affected consumer spending, that is, buying and selling. Most major manufacturers and roadside traders across the country who sell to consumers on a daily basis cannot make sales due to non availability of cash. Recall on October 26, 2022, the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor, Kauri Nanefiele, disclosed the bank's resolve to design, produce, and circulate new series of 200 naira, 500 naira, and 1000 naira denominations and set the deadline to to face our old notes, uh, January 31, 2023. However, after much pressure from Nigerians, the deadline was extended to February 10, 2023, which was not feasible as the Supreme Court extended the deadline date to February 15, 2023, pending the determination of the case. Now, what's the implication of uh, uh, the uh, new Naira notes, the design, redesign of the new Naira notes, and how has it affected the economy so far? And today we have in the studio Honorable Dr. Timothy Fedorama, member representing in Chukoka One in the Anambra State House of our Assembly. We want to welcome you to the program, Honorable. Thank you, the Bay Academy. We also have in the studio Professor Ken Woba, a legal prof, uh, practitioner. Well, welcome to the program. No, no, no. Yes, first, let's, uh, uh, Honorable, let's know your impression about the court and CBN's uh, policy on the new environment. Well, I think uh, I would want to state again, uh, perhaps, uh, the fact that the idea behind the redesign of uh, the Naira. It's a well thought out uh, policy, and to me, uh, the idea behind it, especially the three major uh, highlights of uh, what uh, the CDM governor highlighted in October last year when he made a presentation about this to the entire nation uh, was, to me, and he is still uh, a good policy. Uh, that is intended one to drive down inflation, uh, checkmate the incessant uh, kidnapping, banditry, and all those kind of things that have turned into a multi billion uh, naira or dollar, whatever we may call it, uh, industry. And then, of course, to mop up also uh, the money that current in circulation within the banking sectors that are in various ones. I think, you know, looking at all of that, it's something that will really, would have really helped our economy. And so I don't want to throw away the baby with the bad water. And so for that, I want to stay uh, on set that it is a good policy. But what is the problem is the, its implementation. And the mannerism at which the you know uh, it, the CBN agents, including the commercial banks, are carrying out this uh, this whole process or exercise, I think that is where I want to really uh, to dwell and you know find you know for us to look at and find out the solution uh, to that very particular uh, process that is really flawed that is really inefficient and that has caused an auto hardship to entire uh, nation. Now, like in your intro, you did talk about, you know, the economic implications. We shall come to that now. Okay. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> let's, uh, let's know your take. Uh, Prof, um, if you are in a question about the whole policy. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm coming from the perspective of law and experience. Uh, what I'm saying so is that uh, if you look at the three major points listed by the CBN law for designing the notes, 
you will discover that at the end of the day, at least for about three weeks now, we've seen that it is just like um, uh, the hand of uh, 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 Esau and uh, the voice of Jacob. You see, they are not. It's, it's not being achieved. Because you discover that the new Naira notes that are said to be in scarce, in scarce you know, uh, are still in the, going back to the hands of the bourgeois. That is to say, you can't see any of them lying up at the back waiting for the money to, to cash their 5,000 Naira, 10,000 Naira, or 20,000 from the ATM. They are comfortable in their houses. The money that's are doling out the money to them. You will see this in, when the election comes up. You will still see the new Naira notes flooding the market and financing the politicians. And at any rate, I don't think the policy emanated from CBN government alone. I think there is a political undertone behind that. One story said that uh, it was uh, designed to to snatch out money from the money banks, wanting to use it to monetize the election processes. We heard about that, and it looks like it's, it's true. The other one said that uh, it was meant to scuttle the electoral chances of certain uh, uh, certain presidential aspirants coming from the southern uh, part of the country. That's what we've been hearing. But at the end of the day, how are we sure that those money banks they want to cross the double cross? They want to start out money from their position so that they will not monetize the election. How do we know what are we sure that these money banks have not have not ended up stockpiling the money? Because I know some politicians, rich people around, very big people, from that December period they we they started using they have already started using the new Naira notes in all denominations. You can even start questioning the design of the notes. Is, what, what is wrong with the old one? What is wrong with the old one? For so the designing it and saying it's so, so when you look at it from you see uh, every law and policy is meant for man and not man for the land policies. Mm. All right, <laughs> time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, okay, but let, let me come to you. Well, does it mean that, that the policy is targeted on some people or anybody or any institution or organization? Yeah, you see, when we now begin to break it down, first and foremost, I have established the fact that uh, going by what uh, the CBN governor told us or told the entire nation uh, about uh, the reason or the idea behind redesigning of the Naira, uh, which of course I said and I still stand by it, that is laudable, you know, to a, a very large extent. Now, but now, if, if we want to look at it from, you know, as, from the political angle, I'm a politician, uh, yes, but I may not be contesting any election, but uh, I have very good friends that are contesting the election right now. And it's really a problem. It poses a problem to everybody, you know. And then it, it, uh, to, to some of the, uh, most of the politicians that I know of, are also crying, you know, this cash crunch. And then, of course, uh, in terms of maybe it being targeted at a particular person or tribe or region or party uh, that is speculative in this form just as a uh, uh, my senior uh, 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 postulated it's, it's speculative because uh, it's the, the arguments or the rumors is neither here nor there and then of course uh, when you look at it uh, holistically Yes, that there, there, there is, I, I want to borrow his language, the voice of uh, Jacob and the hand of Esau. You see, but like I, I keep saying, time will tell. Uh, and 25th uh, February is just less than two weeks. 
It was two weeks yesterday, so in less than two weeks today, we shall, oh, this whole embargo will unfold itself. And then we'll know exactly what it is uh, all about, whether political, uh, targeted at a particular person. But of course, uh, the, the politicians shouldn't be afraid of it. I'm one politician that really believes in, you know, win your election clean and square. It should not be based on inducement. Uh, it, it shouldn't be at all. So even if it is targeted at whoever, prove the system wrong. Go out of your way. Get off that very mindset. Go and endear yourself to the hearts of the people. Let the people love you for who they are, for who you are. Let the people choose you on the basis of love and on the basis of your capacity, character, and competence. The moment that you know begins to play, to be honest with you, as much as I really don't believe in all the press, uh, the the the, the uh, programs of uh, 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 recent uh, of the you know of uh, Muhammad Bahari, if we if he gets this one right and he really in a very considerable length or extent affect our election, I will I will applaud him for that. Because that will the way the elections are going is getting worse on daily basis. And if something is not done to mitigate this, if we get to the point where you know it will be you know the highest bidder, which of course is already what it is, but it's getting worse. When I contested the first election so many years back, I know, yeah, that money played out, but it wasn't to the extent. Then the election of 2015 took it to another level. The election of 2019 took it to another level. So if nothing is done, the election of 20, 20, 2023 will take it to the heights of heights. And who knows, you know, what it will become in 2027 and all that. So. To that extent, I don't even care who is targeted or who is not targeted. Let every politician go down to the grassroots and endear themselves to the people so that the people will make choice on the basis of what they have, who they are, and then what they are able to do, not on the basis of giving them money on the day of election and then, uh, you know, inducing them to vote for you or giving them a pass or pass of rights. I'm guilty. I did that. I won't deny that. I did that. But is it good? Do I, do, do I like it? No. As an empowerment. I As an empowerment to your constituents. No. Empowerment <laughs> is different. Is it, yeah. It's good you raise that. Empowerment is different. What we do in empowerment is after the election. But whatever you are doing before the election, to me, sir, is no empowerment, it's inducement. All these politicians, are, are my colleagues and friends, that wait until election is six months, they now start doing empowerment to their people. To me, it's, it's not really empowerment, it's purely inducement. You go do this because election is coming, then you begin to point, where were you three years ago? Where were you four years when they elected you? So you should hit the ground running from the day you took out of office or from the day you were inaugurated as a parliament, as a parliamentary. You should start doing something from that very day and not wait until six months to election, you now start uh, doing eye tests, you know, uh, eye clinic, uh, you know, all those non <laughs> to me, to be honest, you know, to say the least, I'm not being insulted. Is is our nonsense? As that is coming from a politician, a decent politician. But uh, Prof, CBN said that uh, the redesigned notes were made available in the right quantity. But those holding the notes are to blame, even those that don't need the money. Or when they need you know, this money, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and some people are saying that the money they issued uh, was not commensurate with the level of activity in the country. Well, uh, I will begin to say that uh, there has always been a serious disconnect between the policy makers and the people for whom the policies are made in this country. 
there is something like feasibility studies. They ought to know if, when the UK changed their currency, they, they, you know, they designed, they designed their currency, it took them one year. Even though that country is a cashless country, because cashless uh, community, you know. But they knew there will there be some areas, you know, rough edges, which ought to be smoothed in the process. They did almost more than one year. And the old note was existing, we were existing, they lost had new ones. So there was no, no friction, no schedules. But here, they just, once they hear of a particular policy or idea, they just carry it out like that. Because I think the whole thing will stay crash line because we, the, the, even the new, if you check the current, the, the face of the new currency, the notes and the old one, the old one is even better. So, so that's why I'm, I've been interrogating the reason why you have the There is a has the demand, there is a redesigned notes and free air after it. It's not a demand there. But the demand there was such a system look, ought to be brought before the Federal Executive Council. That is one. A, a, a system, a policy that is supposed to affect every person in the country. We have nearly 200, electorate, 200 million electorates, including those that we imported from money in China. Well, of course they were there. So, for the CBN to be printing currency, no new notes, without knowing that there are some people in the internet, people in the rural areas, and old people that need this small, small money, they don't have smartphone to do what they call it, transfer. transfer. What are they doing with transfer? You see, the problem is that the politicians, they, they, they take politics to be an end in itself. Politics is supposed to be a means to the end, but now they say politics is regarded as the end on itself. So the problem is that if they want to introduce such things again, like we are in we are still suffering under the tools of that new Naira design. The economy is suffering. The microeconomy is suffering. The only way we are there, they are suffering. Some of them cannot sell. Some of them, their, their, their products uh, can't decay, you know, or gone bad. There's nothing they can do about it, and it's still continuing. The effect of it will still come back and on the politicians. You, 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 you remember the case of that man that went and then uh, ran the sank and then uh, stretched himself naked in the bank. The son eventually went out and we let the bank manager, the manager, the young woman, and then remove her, her car, uh, tires. tires. And then, you know, made life miserable for that woman that day. You see, if I may just jump in and address it, uh, what Prof said, uh, there is a very stern danger yes. uh, staring on uh, in the face. However, People should not take laws into their hands. Uh, the, the man that went to the bank and stripped himself naked did that out of frustration. But he's not he the only not one. Achieve his aim. Yeah, he's, not, uh, he's not the only one whose uh, <laughs> money uh, was was stopped. Uh, Prof asked the question: Where is the old money? The old money has gone back to central bank. Yeah. Because the commercial banks now, since this, uh, if you look at. Uh, most of the uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the instruction is only the new notes should be disbursed through the uh, ATM and do not give anybody money from the counter. After a while, uh, they came up again and said, "Okay, give twenty thousand from the counter." Now, what are they doing? What what has happened is the old note has already left the commercial bank. So people going to bond the commercial banks or take the vengeance of the commercial banks are just. I just, uh, should I say, taking laws into their hands or doing, uh, or just, you know, acting uh, stupidly. The money is not there. If you burn those facilities, these are personal, these are not government, those banks are not owned by the government. The, uh, the, this, virtually most of those banks are individual banks, you know. And so if you burn them, you are burning your brothers or your it, you, the same citizen uh, property and uh, resource. Now, what what the CBN need to do 
is exactly what he has said. Let them get more of this money. Bring more of this money. It will end this mess. And there is other ways you can still checkmate this uh, thing. Checkmate them. Let there be enough money in circulation, at least to an extent. Then you can still control or curb that Section uh, 20 of uh, CBN Act states it clearly, like you asked. It is their right, CBN, to, to print, uh, redesign, do whatever. They are the ones that will call any piece of paper Lego tender and you become Lego tender. No other person, no other body has the such right. And so, what they should do at this time is to flood the banks. Uh, with enough of these uh, new notes and then let it go around. Now, if they have these old ones that we have returned, you know, especially the 100 Nairas, the 50 Nairas, they should get it back and let the banks begin to use that. Because whether the new ones are available or not, 100, the old 100 Naira still remains a legal tender for as many, as long as uh, that, uh, you know, uh, uh, process state. Then, the other thing they need to do also is the fact that the CBN uh, 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 should monitor the commercial banks more. That we have seen in the social media where this, some of these commercial banks, some of them, not all of them, heard this very money. It was shown on the TV where a bank had these new notes packed inside and used the old notes to cover it. We see that, we saw that on the TV. And we are seeing so many. So some of these commercial banks also, in order not to uh, 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 incur uh, 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 the wrath of the citizen, should get out those money. There's no point holding it. The politician you are trying to give that money to will not save you when your building is on fire. He will not pay for it, those damage. And so the, these uh, managers and all these commercial banks should know that. Uh, Prof, um, in a minute or two, after all said and done, will the policy stabilize the economy? Mm -hmm. Well, I would not say it would stabilize the, 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 stabilize the economy because um, they started from a uh, wrong. Uh, Point. Before they introduce such a thing, like I talk about uh, feasibility studies, in understanding the pulse of the people, how they will take it, the amount of money that printed, you know, to make sure that there is a seamless uh, uh, practice of the policy. But it's coming at a time when they knew. The nation is at the corner. That is one thing. That makes the vote in suspect. But how about the election? The election after the elections, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, because they have that, there must be benefits from uh, the. That, well, the, there are some the benefits, of course. There will, there will be. But then, the issue is that what the damage that has been done, mm -hmm. you know, like some people don't think the way we, you know, the educated people think. Like this boy is burning the banks, burning, you know, the, 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 what that ought not to be. But you say people, they will view whatever policy that is introduced as something that is against the masses, which is wrong. It will go some, to some extent to maybe, although inflation is, can never be checked by withdrawing the cash in circulation, inflation can be checked by a lot of, a lot of factors, you know. You know, uh, when it comes to micro and macro economies, you discover that this issue of election, I mean, drawing money from the hands of the people, it does a lot of damage. You know, it can never, it can never stem the the, the geometric uh, movement of uh, inflation in the country. After we draw the money, is there any corresponding uh, 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 production? You know. Avenue, you know, where you can we say we are produ we are producing concrete, you know, you produce, the industries are not working, we have the energy crisis, there is poor scarcity, there is uh, this issue of uh, 
Now, so many things that are militating against our production uh, uh, sphere in Nigeria. Well, what do you advise? Uh, you advise. Uh, I will advise that um, at least at the moment, just like my colleague has said, we should be able to, the Somia Bank should flood the market with uh, money. You know, the you new know notes, and then allow the old notes to coexist. And then let's see, after some time, surely it will, will have some benefits, but not now. They should suspend whatever they are doing, following the Supreme Court's uh, direction. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's my take. Well, I think uh, uh, it's, 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 it's in every policy there is always cost and benefit, and uh, the cost uh, is what we are discussing because it does mean that the cost is now outweighing the or mm -hmm. outweighed the benefit. But my position still is on the path that we shouldn't also jettison the benefits for this very policy. Uh, rather, I would advise that we look deeper and more into solving the implementation aspect or problem which, has, uh, which uh, this very policy has occasioned. And to that extent, the, the whole ball stops in the box of, the, of CBM. Uh, to do the needful, like uh, my senior colleague has uh, stated here, let them get more of this money out there. It will. S there, there are so many other ways to mitigate or to even checkmate what they are doing. I'm not uh, an economist; I'm a lawyer. But the economists will tell you there are so many uh, ways in which they can use to cut these politicians from excessive use of uh, money to monetize uh, uh, our election and to, you know, uh, 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 induce uh, voters. There are so many ways we can do that, but the only thing is that there are, uh, people are not really thinking outside the box. There are so many ways to solve this very problem without this very particular angle that we are going. You see, election is just a phase. It will go by, by 25th uh, this month, it will be all over. Then the next one will come up in 11th March. And after, by 12th March, you know, it's gone. The pressure we are experiencing now is because the election is closed and the uh, termination date for all of this thing is also within the same time. If outside the election, I'm telling you the kind of pressure we are in now from all angles will not have been the same as it, as it is. So, mm. uh, to that extent, but if you look at uh, some, like, uh, you know, if you look at some little benefit, you discover that since all these uh, things, uh, dollar and naira, uh, you see the dollar is going so down. Well, really <laughs> now we buy naira with naira. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody is talking about buying naira <laughs> with the dollar. So the dollar, you need to have moved from 750 uh, the prior market to the, uh, as at today is almost 720. So we, we, you know, we've actually gained <laughs> that. Exactly. We have no but, yeah, but it's we're it's, buying naira. We are because we left dollar and we are buying naira. You know, you go to the POS people, you know, like you said, the economic implications are so many. The POS business is gone. And that POS, when it came out, good, a lot of graduates, you know, turned into it and offended from it. Thank but you. anyway, I'm, uh, you know, thank you. Time, thank you, Honorable Dr. Major member representing Nijiko Kabon, constituency in the Anambra State House of Assembly. We want to thank you very much, Honorable. Thank you. Professor, Professor Ken Muba, the Lago practitioner. We thank you very much, bro, for our out of time. Thank you for staying tuned. I'm as I want to see you again next time. On behalf of Don Onyenji, and of course, everybody in the house. Bye for now.